Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and in today's video I'm going to show you some cool plant stuff and also a few really cool plants that I got this weekend. And I added in something really funky and weird at the end of this video. So if you want to see what I'm up to, stay tuned. But first, as you can probably hear from my voice, I am sick. And although I want to be as comfortable as possible, I don't think a robe is appropriate wear for <laughs> making a video. So I have this thing. My cousin Dan, who I grew up with basically, we were born four days apart, has a motor car business. And let's open this. He had a custom one piece onesie made. This is his brand here. And so I'm gonna wear this for the video and see if it's comfortable. It might be a little bit big because it's both for me and my boyfriend, but let's try it on. Ta-da! It's super comfy. I love the legs and it's actually not that big. So perfect. And look what my boyfriend just figured out. There is this thing to make it more waistbandy. So it's more girly and like showing your waist. I'm gonna be wearing this all day long. So cool, Dan. Thank you so much for giving me one. He runs a motorsport business, especially organizing very cool motorsport events like going to the Formula One in Monaco where he lives part of the time. So check him out if you're into that. I know that's completely different from my channel, but we as people are very close. So I figured I would show you anyway. Now let's get to the planty stuff. I actually got a lot of plant products this weekend at Ikea, let me show you. As you may know, I normally get my pots from the secondhand shop, like this one, but I ran into some issues because I didn't have the right pots for certain plants. So for example, Caspar over here is in a very, very big pot, whoops, already breaking my pots, when his inner pot is not that big, see? So there's a big difference there. And I have the same issue actually with a few. Let me show you them. These two also needed some proper pots because this is my Hoya species, probably Marillii. Um, but that's a small pot. I even put a little thingy underneath so that it gets enough height to sit in this big pot. But obviously that doesn't look the best. And same for this little Birkin that's swimming around in a huge pot. So I actually was super organized this time I measured my plants that needed pots, and you may have not seen this yet, but they had exactly the two sizes that I needed, about eight or nine centimeters and 15 centimeters, in these two adorable matching pots. So of course I got several because I have lots of plants. Voila. Let's try those plants out and see how they look. I didn't actually test this yet, so yeah, that's pretty nice fits well and then the Hoya that's it. yeah perfect that looks so much nicer I am happy this plant is actually growing super well it's got new growth coming out of these spots here and also the nodes are I don't know are they called nodes on Hoya but the eyes I think they're eyes are activated in these bits as well. So it's gonna be a really, really full plant. That's super exciting. And the Birkin too, actually, um, this is one plant with a baby plant, but the one plant is growing three different leaves from the top. So it's gonna be very full as well. And then Caspar, yeah, perfect fit. As you probably have seen on my social media, this plant has been struggling a lot I lost about three or four leaves so far because he didn't have the energy to turn them green after coming out super creamy and white. So I moved him back away from the light and on the new leaf, maybe you can see there's actually some green on there. So it's working and I think he deserves a new pot to celebrate. Then I also got these small ones. They are for plants like my little holy basil that I've got here, Tulsi. <sighs> perfect fit. I have quite a few of these quite tall pots, which was an issue because most of my outer pots were quite low. But yeah, that looks really cute. Here's another one of those see-through orchid pots that I put a little Pilea papromioides in. And that also looks so much better than just having the little dish underneath. Yay! 
these i don't know which plants they were for but i have plenty so another thing i got which is connected to the super cool plant that i traded this weekend are these two cloches or i don't know what you would call them I guess a cloche, right? They're both from Ikea as well. One has a bottom wood and one is just the, the top part. And I needed these because I got this really nice plant, which I actually already put in one of the new pots. This is my tiny Begonia Amphioxis. I'll put in some close-up footage so you can see better. Ooh, it's still very wet. So I traded this plant with my friend Micah this weekend. She said to put it in a jar and have it in lots of light and lots of humidity and that will make it a super easy plant. I popped it up in this Vekpot in Dutch. I don't know what it's called really, but like one that you can close properly. But I think I left too much water in it and we went away for a day. So it is not doing very well right now. I think it, I gave it too much water and too much, I don't know, humidity or something. But now that I have this little pot for it, and I think I'm gonna use this one, it's gonna sit up super nicely in that. Whew. I'm getting pretty warm with this suit and probably with my flu symptoms. And yes, I'm wearing my planty shirt underneath. I'll get a proper pot for it later. And then we have this cloche over it to keep the humidity high, but to also see the plant really well. So that's gonna sit in my windowsill. Super excited about that. And then this one is, well, I don't know what plant I'm gonna use this for yet. Let's put this one in. Just to show you how it looks. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this short weekend haul. It's a bit random, but that's probably because my brain is a little bit scrambled with both a concussion, like literally scrambled, and lots of snot. <laughs> so I apologize for that. What kind of things you like to use for humidity domes? Like, do you have a terrarium? Do you use plastic bags? Or do you have fancy cloches like this? Let me know in the comments.
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. That really helps as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!